Hey guys, welcome to the Provokers Podcast, where we talk about things you probably should too. And today I am joined by. Do you forget our names? You I think you were trying to lead us into it. Yeah. You know. Okay, well, I'm John. I... And I'm Ethan. I'm FlabsXU Gaming on YouTube. So, I hope you guys this week's fun. Like... Pretty, uh, pretty decent, I'd say. Yeah, mine's been, I mean, I, this is my first week back from vacation, mm-hmm. um, so that's been nice, because I've been able to get back into things. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you guys follow my channel and all the stuff that I do over there, you know that a very special thing is coming, and has, actually, by the time you're listening to this, it's already came out. It's the season five finale of Breaking Free, you should check it out. Um, it aired on Monday, um, so if you're hearing this, you probably either have already seen it, or if you haven't, you should go check it out, it's on my channel over there. Um, and you should check it out, especially if you've been keeping up with the whole lore of the thing. If you've not been keeping up and you don't care about it, whatever, it's not going to really appeal to you. But if you have been keeping up with it and you want to know more and you want to see it, then go check it out because it should be out now by the time you're listening to this. All right. I would actually give that a watch if I were you guys. It's quite interesting. Yeah. And then, of course, I mean, I, like I said, it's already going to be out by the time you guys listen to this, but... Usually those things uh, premiere live, meaning you guys get to, it's kind of like a live stream. You get to uh, interact with everyone that's there, and you get to solve the mystery together. Um, and also the comment section will obviously still be there. Um, and so it's just a good time, and I'll be there to answer some questions maybe. Who knows? I can't confirm anything. Um, and also, I have another thing planned. I haven't told these two what it is yet, uh, but I have another thing planned that I think these two will like uh, because it's about them. <laughs> so I think they'll be okay with it. Um, but it's a thing that's getting worked on. I haven't told them about it yet because I still have to figure out a couple kinks before I let them know. Because if it's it's if it's not going to work, then I'm not going to tell them. Um, but it's going to be super exciting. It's not it's not going to revolve around the ARG. I know I kind of didn't really do a good seg- segue for that, but it's going to be cool. So uh, if you like uh, these two, then I think you'll like it. So look forward to that. Cool. Yeah. Well, I hopefully they like us because they tune in every week. Yeah, they they do, and I, I was telling John too that the um most of the episodes that get above a thousand views are things that uh we do together. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, for for um, me, uh, I I mean, I don't have anything too interesting like that going on, but uh, I you know I got an achievement the other day in Batman on stream that I. Just, Thought it was gonna take like way longer and only took forty minutes. And I was like, "Dang, <laughs> damn, I got two hours to kill." What do yeah, I do that's now? what I felt like, and yeah. I, I just switched to like a run of uh, Jedi Fallen Order. That was like the worst run I ever did in my entire life. Did you yeah, fail? I failed, but like most spectacularly, yeah. and like even before I failed, it wasn't going very well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that game, but I uh, I love seeing you fail, so you guys should go check that out. If you like seeing John fail, which you see him do often, you should go yeah. check that out. That is true. And cool. also, another reminder, uh, me and John do... Uh, John has never played Undertale before, and he's streaming it live every Tuesday around 8 o'clock. Um, like I said, by the time this comes out, the next one's already passed, but get ready for the next one, because, I mean, it's he's going to be doing it for a little bit, because the game's not super long, but it's long enough that it warrants a couple... It warrants a good amount of Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll be there voicing some characters. He's voicing some characters, uh, hilariously. And uh, also, he's never really, he knows some stuff, but he doesn't know kind of like the middle of the story or maybe even these pieces of the end and that kind of thing. Um, so you should definitely go check him out. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right, with that. And with that, guys, I think we can move on to the topic for today, which is bad habits. We all have them. No one's perfect. And I think the day you can show me a perfect person as the day pace will fucking fly, so. Well, John apparently claims that he's perfect because he does. He said well, before the pre-conversation, um, which if you want to hear a pre-conversation before we uh, record these podcasts, I was a good check out our Patreon for the said podcast. Uh, uh, I was going to say link in the description, but this is in the YouTube video. Um, but he said that, you know, like he can't think of one off the top of his head. He said it may be one. And I was just, just saying to myself like, hmm, this guy thinks he's better than yep. us. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean that like with bad habits, it's like not always something you like consciously do. Or not always. Sometimes it is. But like sometimes it's like, oh yeah, no, I should probably stop doing it and then you continue to do it without thinking about it. Well, you yeah. still know that it exists though. I guess, yeah. yeah but you're uh, still conscious enough to do it, so 
Exactly. So really, John's is a big fat yep. liar. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll start us off with this. Uh, one bad habit that I do every now and then, at least when I have nails, is um, I tend to bite my nails when I get nervous for things. Mm -hmm. Or just sometimes if I'm feeling anxious. I don't know if anyone relates to that. No, no, I'm pretty sure that's a um, one. I've never been a nail biter. I, I mean, yeah, it's common, absolutely, but I've, I've never, you know, I've been my nails. I, I don't see the appeal of it, but I guess if it, if you get hooked on it, you get hooked on it for mm -hmm. real. I've been told that before, so I know it exists. I just, I just never personally had experience with it. Yeah, no, you do. Uh, my way of preventing it is uh, by cutting my nails because then I'll have anything to do that to yourself. Well, there you go. Preventing it for sure. Uh, I don't even really know why it's considered a bad habit, but apparently it is. I think so. it can be unhealthy. Well, cause you're... Yeah. yeah, it's definitely unhealthy because you're biting. Because you're... there's things that live under your uh, nails. And I don't want to gross anyone out, but there's things currently having sex under your nails right now. Um, and, you know, <laughs> biting that and ingesting that's probably not good for probably you. Probably not, no. Uh, uh, maybe we should start playing disclaimers in these episodes. Because... There's no disclaimers. This, this show is wack tacky anyway. Everyone, that's what everyone's here for. Everyone's here for the wacky tacky yeah, stuff. they know what they right? signed you know? up for. <laughs> they have, we have episodes titled Noah Betrays John. You think we're normal? No. Nah. Yeah, exactly. Well, grow after you're listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's probably, I, mean, I think I think I have family members. Uh, I don't know about my grandparents, but I know that I have some family members that listen to this, and they're, they're probably yeah. upset. <laughs> they're probably very upset. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right, dude. Any of you guys want to go? Well, you're the one. Well, John's a peasant, so I'm going to go right. first. Um. Right. So I think because I don't want him to steal it, because I feel like this is the one he has. Um, but this is my biggest thing, and I've been trying to work on it for years and years. It's getting slowly better, but it's still there. Is procrastination. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest bad habits that everyone has. And, you know, it's to procrastinate once in a while is fine because you need a break from certain things, uh, like, you know, once in a while. But, to, like, to specifically procrastinate and not get anything done that you needed to is one of the worst bad habits anyone could have, right? right? And, you know, I have it, and it's just kind of the thing where it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this right now. And so I'll push it off, and it won't get done, and you know everything will be late, and it's be like, oh my god! And then everything I have, I have to do everything all at once, and it really just doesn't help, right. you know. Um, and for I, for years, I've been working on trying to get that better. Like I said, now that I have a YouTube channel, it's, it's kind of helped me force myself to get things done in a way. Mm. Um, like I said, I I talked about the season finale. Those things take a long time to work on. That's why I'm so glad that you guys enjoy it. But it takes so long to work on. And, you know, there's times where I'd just be like, oh, I don't want to do this right now. I should go do something else. But my brain's like, no, if this needs to get done by this time. And so you need to work on it now. Um, and, you know, so it's, it's always been a dif difficult ride. But I think the best thing that I do that helps me, that's helps me stay motivated for that kind of thing is, like, think of what you're doing, right? Um, it, let's say you're working on a book, right? And people... People talk about writer's block. That's not a thing. That's just be. That's just another word for procrastination. That writer's block is not a thing. Um, it's just saying that you don't want to do it and you're naming it something else. Um, so, but think about what you're doing. You're writing a book and you're going to sell it to people for whatever your story is. So, if you don't get it done, then people won't be able to experience your story, right? And as for me, for my personal thing, if you're a YouTuber, I guess this also applies to you is that you're creating content for other people to enjoy, right? And so it's kind of like you're helping other people in a way that, you know, if you weren't going to get it done, you wouldn't be doing. And so, you know, that's what's, I mean, I'm going to be doing charity live streams at one point, and one of them, I guarantee one of them will be a 24-hour one. And, you know, just hearing John's horror stories sometimes of his him doing 12-hour ones, it's like, okay, great. 24 hours is going to be fun. Um, but at least, you know, it's done in your charity, and it'll be doing those things. So I'll be motivated throughout the that kind of thing. And, you know, I haven't done those charity live streams yet, which I will do eventually, but I haven't done them yet. So I can't really speak for those, but just getting things done like the season finale or, you know, Faz with friends. Cause Faz with friends, I'm switching between POV. So I have to deal with like five different tracks at once. like that kind of thing. Um, and so the, the, all these things, you know, it takes a lot of work to get done, but it's fun to do it. And also it's having people enjoy content that you're creating 
and you know, just having people have better days than what they would have otherwise. You know what I mean? So I think procrastination is probably the biggest thing everyone, I think almost anyone can agree with that because I feel like we've all procrastinated at least once. Um, and so, I, but to me, it's a bad habit because it's not something I want to be doing. It's just something that my brain's like, oh, I don't want to do this right now. And so, you know, I think that's, that's, that's the first one I'm going to start with. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair yeah. one. I feel like sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to get this done. Like even today, like there's something I wanted to be out by tomorrow, I'm not even close to being finished. And then this morning, I was like, "What if I just play some GTA instead of doing the thing that I need to get out <laughs> by tomorrow?" Yeah, yeah, it exists. I know I am bad about procrastination. I actually used to be really bad about it. Uh, like in school, anytime I was given homework or anything like that, I'd just be like. Eh. I could skip for a little and just not do it. And then whenever it was due, I was like, shit, because it was like the day before usually. Well, school so. teaches you to procrastinate, so I feel like it's right. their fault. So, yeah, so yeah. no, were you one of those people who would like, or I guess uh, Ethan, but I think you more likely know it. Uh, were you one of those people who were like doing your homework like as the teacher's collecting it? <laughs> Actually, yes, a few times I did do that. Okay. Um, there were a few. In I in middle it. school, I did it several times. In high school, not as much. But in middle school, I was reading, or like l lately, I've been reading uh, memes and stuff because they're hilarious, and I just get a joy out of them. But like some one of the ones that I saw earlier, it's like, um, top like top three Olympic sports, and it's like uh, list the two main ones, right? And then the third one says doing your homework while the teacher's collecting it. It's like I find that so funny because. When I did it in middle school, that's exactly what it is. It's like, okay, what can I get done in the 30 seconds that I have left? Um, <laughs> yeah. But in high school, I was more determined to get through right. it. And I was just, actually, I was ahead of the game, usually. Um, not to sound like a huge nerd, but I was usually like a week ahead of everyone. Um, and so I didn't have to worry about it that week that it was right. due. And then what was even better is if we had like no work coming up, I had two free weeks off. You know what I mean? Whereas everyone else had one because they weren't ahead. Right. So. Yeah. When I um when I moved oh. schools, they just like stopped assigning homework. I'm like, why do I not have homework? And, like I remember when I moved there, I was like, oh yeah. So do we have like I was in history class and I was talking to one of my classmates. I was like, hey yeah, do we have uh, current events that we have to do you know weekly? And he's like, uh not no not really. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then there was like no yeah. homework that entire year. My question is, why are you, why were you complaining about? I wasn't this? complaining. I was just wondering because, yeah. like, I was new. It was like one of my second or third day there, so I was making sure I was trying to get everything I needed so I wouldn't get behind because I was already behind because moving schools, and so I was like, oh yeah, do we have this just so I know? And he's like, oh no, we don't. I'm like, oh okay, well I mean I'm fine with that, but that's a little strange. Yeah. All right, well, John, if you have one, it is your turn. Uh, I guess another bad habit I have is uh, staying up too late. Partially, it's a bad habit. Partially, it's having insomnia. So it's just like not a good combination when I actively choose not to go to bed. And then when I go to bed, I can't sleep anyway. It's like it's, it's not a good combination, really. And it causes me... Uh, it ends up, when I do end up going to sleep, it's like I sleep in way too late because I went to bed way too late. And I've been trying to break it uh, and go to bed earlier, but it's it's not, a, not easy for me. Yeah. I've actually been struggling with that same thing of uh, going to bed every reasonable time because now I have a job and mm -hmm. I have to be in bed. So I can at least get some sleep before I have to go to work. Right. But it's kind of working, but slowly. Yeah, the, um, I mean, the thing is, if you stay, if you're working late, that's fine. But if you're, like, trying to go to sleep and you can't get to sleep, then, yeah, I would, I, I don't think I've done that too much. Because usually when I go to sleep, I put my phone aside mm -hmm. and I don't usually touch it. Unless I get a call or a text that kind of dings me. Um, like it, it, the sound effect is off, but the, but the vibration, right. uh, is on. And so if it's important, I'll look at it. If someone's trying to text me like, Hey, Ethan, uh, how are you doing? At like three in the morning, I'm not going to answer you. Uh, <laughs> but if you know, if it's something important or serious and I'll probably answer them. But other than that, I don't really touch my phone at night. 
Um, right. And the thing that I do is if if my sleep schedule gets broken in the bad way, like I you know go to bed at like three o'clock in the mm-hmm. morning, what I'll do is the my trick is, and I can't recommend this because I'm not a doctor, and so I don't think this is probably great for you, but I don't know how else to fix it. Um, is what I do is I do I pull an all nighter. So what I'll do is I'll work all night. And then at, when morning comes around, I'll get a cup. I'll get Dunkin' Donuts coffee specifically. Hashtag please sponsor us because oh my god, uh, I would love to take your money. Um, but also they have the strongest coffee in the game, uh, even more so than Starbucks. Nice. Uh, Starbucks, I would happily not take a sponsorship from you because I don't like your face. Um, <laughs> but like they have the strongest coffee in the game, right? So I'll, I'll get a large coffee for, uh, for only like a dollar because usually I have a coupon, mm-hmm. and I'll drink all of it pretty much, and it's really good coffee too. And, you know, it keeps me awake for a good six hours. And then what after that six hours, it becomes more of a slog. And it's like, okay, I need to get through this and I need to, like, go to sleep around, like, like eight or nine tonight. It'll be an early sleep, but at least it'll fix the sleep schedule. And usually it works. There's times where sometimes I'll go into bed because I'm so tired and I'll end up falling asleep when I don't want to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it'll kind of break it even more. And so, like I said, I can't personally recommend it, but that's just the thing that I do. And, you know, I don't break the sleep schedule too often for example right now i go to bed around one uh it used to be worse i used to go to bed at least at like three o'clock in the morning uh, which is not good um but yeah it's just it's just i i don't know i don't have insomnia i don't think but i know my mom does and i know that she doesn't uh like that very Mm much um but even still i think that's just the way i personally uh deal with it but like i said it doesn't happen often so i can't really speak for that yeah I mean, it's not as bad for me as it once was, because, like, one time, uh, a, a period of time, I should say, not once, but um, a period of time, like, around, I would say, like, six to eighth grade, I would be going to bed around, like, five or six, and getting up at, like, seven. <laughs> and then, so I was barely, I don't even know how I got through the school year those times, because, like, I'm getting up and getting, like, two three hours of sleep every day i'm like i, I was i was yeah. a different breed back then i guess yeah no uh i think what made me not staying up late worse was uh when i first started like staying up late i found caffeine mm-hmm. and not just like, like normal caffeine i mean like high dose caffeine okay. so due to that it just helped me stay awake longer mm-hmm. and I also actually screwed myself over this past summer because, uh, well, I was in uh, Florida taking a vacation. Uh, I stayed up till like five in the morning for the entire time I was there. So now my body's kind of just used to it, and it's like, oh, you don't need to sleep. But I'm like, yeah, I do. Yeah, who needs sleep? Come on, man. Yeah, the. I mean, I I told this to John back when uh, it was I think it was either seventh or eighth grade, so that actually checks up now. Is that I would be like, "Hey, you're right, because you look like you're super tired," and I think like he would be like, "Yeah, I didn't sleep very well last night," or something. You said something, but it, I don't think you specified that you went to bed at five or yeah, six. Yeah, usually I was like, "Oh yeah," I mean, I had some trouble sleeping, just a tiny bit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, imagine like a zombie, and that's what John every looked single like. day. Yep, like it. <laughs> Every single day, it wasn't that great. But I mean, his hair was good, and that you know that, um, you know, extra bonus points. Well, when he had hair, at least. Yeah. Yeah, back when he had hair, the good old days. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So I think a, I think it's back to me. And another bad habit I have is uh. Okay, so it's another like anxiety kind of nervous thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, especially when I'm really stressed, I don't know why I do this, but I tend to pull out my hair. And obviously that's a bad habit, but I don't know why I do it. I just do it. And I have no clue as to why. Well, you already said why, because it's uh, you said that it's stress. And so stress has a... The stress in general has a negative effect on you, but like it can cause those kind of things to happen, and so that's that's that is the reason. It's literally that you're stressed, you know. Right, but it's like specifically what like for me, it's like specifically like why hair? Why can't it be something else? But pull out your skin. Because yeah, I was gonna say yeah. pulling out pulling out anything else would really be kind of bad. I mean, hair is bad too, but like at least it can grow back. Yeah. 
So, I mean, I, I don't know, because I know a lot of other people suffer from that kind of thing, too. Mm-hmm. It's not just, um, like, it's not just biting nails, it's not just hair, it's like, it, I mean, there's, it's usually hair. It's, I think that's the, I think that's the most common one, is people will pull out their, like, you've seen the images of people pulling out their hair, like, it's a, it's a thing that happens at workplaces, mm-hmm. you know? It's like, maybe you got a super big project that you need done in, like, two days, and your boss is gonna yell at you if you don't. Like that kind of thing. Like that would stress any. And that would stress anybody out. You know, so that's yeah. why I currently don't have a job like that because I don't think I would ever want to be in that kind of job. Mm. Um, but you know, the job that I'm doing, I tell myself when I need to get something done, and you know, I tell myself when I need to get going and do better and that kind of thing. And so, with other people that have a job that has, they have their an actual boss, right? They you need to kind of impress them, otherwise you might lose said job, right? And so it's just like. I don't know. It, it stress itself kind of does that. Yeah, right. that's why I like the job I have because I don't have to worry about deadlines at all. That's mm. good. Helpful. Yeah. Honestly, I would never take a job with deadlines. So. Well, unfortunately, a lot of ninety percent of jobs have yeah. deadlines, and so it's like thing, I mean, things have even, to get done. Even, even this podcast technically has a deadline because we have we have we have a consistent schedule. And we have a consistent. Um, you guys don't know this because I don't think we ever said this, but we record every day. We record on Sundays every time. Um, and you know, unless a meteor strikes down and blows up the universe, then that will remain that way. And so that it just kind of be like. I mean, there's times where it's one or where someone has to like not be there for a certain reason, and that's fine. But if like and if both if two out of three people can't be there, then I guess that would be one of the reasons we'd have to kind of be like, okay, well, I guess we got to push this back or something. But the reason we keep a specific schedule is because sponsors love that kind of thing. They're like, okay, these guys upload every Friday. Awesome. They're going to look at that compared to someone that uploads like maybe once a month. It's like, okay, well then why would we sponsor you? You're not going to get as much publicity as someone that uploads every week on a consistent Friday schedule. You know what I mean? And so even this podcast has like deadlines. It's just not like deadlines where, I mean, I've been told I'm the manager, but I guess, I mean, I'm handling the money, so I guess maybe. But like it's not I'm not gonna come knocking on John's door and be like, Hey, you piece of shit. You didn't come to the podcast episode on time. You were five minutes late. I'm stealing your i I'm stealing your baby child that you don't even know you have, and I'm burning her house down, all right? Yeah, I would uh, not yeah. see that as a reasonable response. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's why I like doing this podcast, especially because yes, it has a deadline, but we're never stressed to do it. No, and I mean the thing is with the with when people go on vacations or we have to pre-record stuff because I think when when Christmas rolls around, Christmas takes place on a Sunday this year, and so we're I can guarantee you none of us are going to be available for that. I can def- I'm definitely not, um, oh, and so we'll, probably, we'll have to pre-record an episode for that, and we usually do it on the same Sunday. The most we've had to do is three, and I think I'm going to keep it that way. If we have, if we end up having to do four one time, I'm going to be like, <clears throat> okay, the Sunday before we pre-record, we're going to pre-record two, and then. We'll split it up so it's not too right. because four in a row is just nuts. Um, three in a row is is barely manageable, but it's manageable. And then two is fine. Two is not too bad because you're I talk for that much anyway. Right. John's a streamer, so he talks for that much all the time. Um, yeah. And so it's not too bad. But like the fun things that have deadlines are fine because you don't really pay attention to them. But things that like an office a nine to five job where you don't like being there and you hate your job and it's you're just there for the money and that kind of thing. Those deadlines you really pay attention to because it's like if I don't get this done, my job's ruined. You know, like that kind right. of thing. Yeah. All right, I think Ethan, you're next. Yeah. So I mean, I think this is just I don't know if I would qualify this as like super bad. Like it's not as bad as procrastination. I can I can say that for sure. Um, because procrastination is I think just probably my worst one that I have. I think maybe. I don't know. Probably. Um, but the other one that I, another one that I have is I often like will fiddle with things that I'm not supposed to fiddle with. Not the thing you're thinking. Don't think, don't make this dirty. Um, but like, I'll grab a, like I'll grab a pair of scissors and I'll start fiddling with it. Like I shouldn't be, I <laughs> shouldn't be fiddling with scissors. Right. Um, cause they're right. sharp. I, I don't fiddle with knives cause I don't have knives in my room. Actually I do have a knife. Uh, it's for defensive purposes, but it's far away from my desk where I can't reach it. Um, right. And so I'll fiddle with that. I'll fiddle with like um, cards and I'll run them against my skin. Mm-hmm. And it's not, I mean, I don't ever cut myself like that, but it's just like, it just, I don't know. It's, it could be dangerous if I made it dangerous. 
But like so, I'll I'll cool. play with like thumbtacks, you know, thumbtacks, the sharp things that you stick onto walls and to keep something up or something. Right. I play with those often, um, and you know, like that kind of thing. And so fiddling and stuff in general is fine as long as you're not fiddling with something bad. But like those kind of things, I don't want to be touching. But it's just like if I'm watching something and I don't have anything to do uh, while I'm watching, I guess you can say, then I, that's what I'll do. I'll grab something semi dangerous and, and like kind of fiddle with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. In fact, I have an entire box of thumbtacks right on my desk right now. Uh, just to prove it to you, there it is. Um, well, yeah, I have thumbtack or push pins is what they're actually called, but you know what I mean. Right. Um, yeah. I have those. I have scissors currently on my desk. I have scissors on my desk anyway because I cut paper a lot, and so I need them. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a fork <laughs> because why not? Um, that that was from yesterday actually, so I need to go take that down. But anyway, um, but those kind of things, things that are sharp, and I shouldn't be fiddling with because it could hurt right. if i do it incorrectly yeah. um yeah. so it's a bit of a small one and i guess i say it's less worse than procrastination because pro- procrastination gets more in the way mm-hmm. whereas i've never actually gotten injured from any of these things yet um yet. but you know it could happen yeah yeah yet is the key yeah. word Fa- fast yeah. forward like two years he's like so i started juggling chainsaws and <laughs> uh <laughs> We talked yeah. about like we talked about hobbies that we have, and I'm just like, yeah. So I, you know, I I have some bear claws that I was fiddling with earlier. Just you know, <laughs> a, a live and a live bear, not a dead mm-hmm, bear, right? You know, yeah. Zach. Uh, yeah. And before right, so... I would ask, no, I'm not a masochist. <laughs> I just want to point that out. I know Mark says that all the time. Uh, and I, everyone knows he's right. lying, but I just want to point people, that out. People people say that about me with the challenge runs I do. Like it's a different different kind of masochism. I wouldn't say that I am. I just you know, I just want to see if I I can challenge myself. You know. Yeah, challenging yourself mentally, and a good and if like a decent and fine way, like playing games, is fine. You know, I don't see that as masochism. Masochism is like what I just said, like where I'm playing with sharp yeah. things. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'm saying that I'm not a masochist because I don't do that that often. I just it's just one of the things that came to my mind because I have uh push pins here. So currently I'm uh, playing with a card, a GameStop card to be specific. Hey, sponsors, right. GameStop. Anytime, call me. Um, my number. I'm not gonna give you my number because I don't give my numbers to strangers. But I do my I do have my email in the uh in our website. So go check that out. Right. Uh, I'll take. I'm glad you take your money. Well, actually, well I'll take your money and uh, we'll promote your product. For sure. I don't gladly take GameStop's money. <laughs> yeah yeah so i think i think that's another one of my bad i would i would say that one's like I, I don't fiddle with like forks or scissors or anything but like for a long time i've when I, whenever i was in school this would piss off everyone around me i, I like tap my pencil a lot and i'm even doing that like th- throughout the uh episodes today i've been doing that and it was just annoyed just everybody so you were one of those kids. Yeah, I was the, I was an <laughs> annoying kid and everyone hated it. I'm starting to see why your teachers hated you, John. I'm yeah. really starting to unravel <laughs> the mystery. If you guys remember the, the school episode where John talked about how was every teacher he ever had hated him, I'm starting to see why. <laughs> Just yeah, every episode is progressively <laughs> getting is on unre- un, like revealing a story of why his teachers <laughs> hated him so much. Yeah. I was thinking about it too, and now I know. Yeah, well. <laughs> I guess I know damn well if you were in my class and you were doing that, I would have punched you. Well, if, I think yeah, that's I illegal. I never got annoyed with that. <laughs> I mean, is to it? punch a child? I mean, punch anyone, really. <laughs> child? Hey, punching children, yeah, I, think... I think we should put that in the Constitution. As it's it's alright, because children are spawned a Satan, alright? But... Agreed. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> approach that one. <laughs> You're not voted, John. You're yeah, not I'm voted. not voted. I, I do have another bad habit, though. Um, one that I have is I'm a bit of a slob, if you would. Um, like I have, I have like my desk, right? That I have my computers at. Obviously, people have computers at desks, unless you're a weirdo who has it on the floor. Um, but like I, looking at my desk right now, there's like maybe an inch of it that you can actually see and the rest just has like plates and cups and napkins and tissues and just all sorts of just things that probably should be taken care of but i don't yeah no i i can see that and 
And as, as and it gets like intrusive too, because like my mouse is on my desk, so I barely have any room to move my mouse <laughs> when it gets like this. And I'm just like, hey, I'll take care of it. And you, and you wonder why you fail so much. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I listen. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna see you guys later. <laughs> no, you wonder why John doesn't like you when he's the host. I'm just, if we're starting to unravel that mystery. I didn't know that was a mystery. I, I thought that was pretty <laughs> obvious. Listen, I know why. It's because I'm an asshole. <laughs> John just waiting. John just John just pouring his uh, negative points for Noah into a cauldron. <laughs> or, you know, and just waiting for him to use it. I just start the next uh, episode with like minus fifty thousand points because he purely just hates me. I'm not gonna awesome. confirm that. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. I mean, my desk is. If you're saying you can only see an inch of yours, I guess yours is worse. But I'm pretty bad with that too. I have I have mainly water bottles. I drink a lot of freaking water. <laughs> Um, I drink seven, I think, a day, which is recommended, and so I do it. And also, I like water. Right. Um, and so I have a lot of freaking water bottles. I have not that many plates. I have a couple. Um, they're never they're never more than a week old. I'll say right. that they they never get more. If it starts to smell, I take it out immediately. Um, like for example, if I have, if I had mac and cheese, cheese doesn't smell great after, if it's been exposed to oxygen for more than two days. Right. And so you need to get rid of that immediately. Um, and so I usually yeah. do. I usually another thing I usually have is if I went to Dunkin' or something recently, I'll have the I'll have the bag uh, right. on my desk as well. I have um and in uh, commodities with it like that the I usually get a sandwich and it comes in a plastic thing. I usually have that somewhere. I also have uh, uh actually it's actually actually it's paper, not plastic. Uh, I also have a lot of like coffee mugs because every morning I'll get my coffee. I'll take it down to my room. I'll drink it while watching either somebody's Twitch stream or a YouTube video. Um, and then I'll just leave it there once I'm done instead of taking it upstairs and then I would have this clutter and it would be so much helpful, but instead it just stays there forever. But do you drink Dunkin' coffee? Um, it's not a whole lot of Dunkin' Donuts near me, actually, is the thing. So I actually... But do you go out of your way to get Dunkin'? Not really. I mean, that's not the I don't answer. really go out for. Uh, it's not that I don't get Dunkin' specifically. It's I just don't go out for coffee. I like I have a coffee maker, so I just make my own. Um, well, do you make your own using Dunkin's I'm, premium coffee that you can buy in stores but today? We're not sponsored, by the way. Um, I actually have. If we keep talking, John, you're ruining it. I actually have uh, <laughs> done uh, the the. K cups of Duncan's coffee, and they're, they're pretty good. I would say, uh, at least a nine out of ten, maybe more. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I believe you. It's back to you. Yeah, I believe it is. All right, so one of my bad habits I really need to cut down on is uh, the amount of caffeine that I consume because. I have realized, started to realize I have a major problem when it comes to caffeine. And that is, I can go to the store, buy a monster, and have it done in about five minutes. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. Yeah. And that is definitely a bad habit. And I definitely need to break that. Because this name is just monsters. You know what C4s are, not the explosive. That's what my thought, my mind went to, but thank you for clearing it up. <laughs> um, how you would drink a C4 is beyond me, but all right. Listen, you blend it and then you drink <laughs> yeah. it. It's that simple. You guys yeah, say you well, drink it before? Oh, okay. Well, no, you what I'm talking about. You never stuck a grenade in a blender? Yeah, I do it all the time. Gives what? it a real, uh, like, explosive flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, if you want some really good flavor, what you need is a old World War II German stick grenade. Those are the best. Oh, yeah. I thought you were, I thought you were going back to the sponsorship talks, so I thought you were going to, if you want explosive flavor, you should get Duncan's coffee. That's what I thought you were going to say. I was about to laugh my ass off when you said that, though. 
They're like, if you want explosive hey. flavor, you can try Duncan's coffee today. <laughs> I got yeah. that's what you were gonna say. If you want the kind of coffee that can melt your tongue, but also blow your fucking head off your shoulders, drink Duncan's A. I mean, yeah, they they if you if you want like a moderate caffeine uh, injection, I guess you can say. I would get there, like, get medium. Mm. If you want to be fucked up for the rest of the day, get a large. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But well, yeah, so that's one of my bad habits that I really should cut down on. Yeah, you'd think you'd uh, get a resistance so the caffeine wouldn't really help as much, so you just need more and more caffeine. And then... Yeah, see... I think that's the problem, is that my resistance is really high to mm -hmm. it, so I just consume a lot of it, like, um, some days, at least when I have the money, I would do one, maybe two monsters, and about two or three C4s, that is... which is well over the recommended caffeine amount that you should do a day. I was gonna say, like, that is not healthy at all. That's enough oh, caffeine of power motorized car. <laughs> yeah in all fairness I do have a job now so and I do have to get up early for it so it kind of works it's called an alarm it's clock it's called an alarm clock and maybe like healthy habits a cup of coffee maybe yeah one cup of coffee with a, like get, like I said get Duncan's medium <laughs> coffee if you want to you just be like normal and if you want to get fucked up have them large <laughs> there you go yeah no if I if I was to get back into the coffee, if I need a certain amount of ca uh, caffeine dose, I would have to do a different brand than Dunkin', which uh, this brand I've had before it is actually... You ever tried good. Deathless? Well, yeah, Deathless. Death That's why I was Death losing it, too. Yeah, let yeah. me drink some Deathwish real quick. I just want to I just want to drink... Hey, what are you drinking over there? I'm just drinking some Death, you know? Uh, you know, Liquid Death is what it is. Yeah. Actually, I think back in 10th grade, I was in my art class, and my teacher came and she was like, what's that in your cup? And I was like, oh, death was coffee. And she was like, what? And I was like, oh, it's this really caffeinated um, coffee. And she was like, oh, yeah, it's some pretty strong stuff. Are you going to be okay? How bitter does that taste? Because if it's just pure coffee, it's got to taste like you're biting into a stick. You know? It was actually not that bitter, surprisingly. Yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, rich, which is like uh, surprising because, like, like I said, it's a it's a pretty caffeinated, so it's. They must oh, put yeah. a shit ton of sugar in Probably, it. Probably, yeah. Is coffee by itself? Is it black coffee, or do they put stuff in it? Uh, I believe it's black coffee. You could correct me on that if I'm wrong, John. I mean, yeah. I mean, I would get like the grounds, and then like you, I would put my own creamer in it. So. Yeah. Hey, I'm just looking this up because <laughs> I'm so. Right, right. Deathwish Coffee is a coffee brand based in the United States. No wonder their coffee is primarily uh, sold online, but can also be found in grocery stores across the United States. Deathwish Coffee was introduced in 2012. Yep. All right, read the Deathwish story. Yeah, let me let me do that real quick. Merchandise. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yep. the, yeah. I want a picture of a skull on my cup of coffee. That's what I want. <laughs> Hey, well, for what the brand looks like, it's very good. Deathwish, feel free to sponsor us. We'll take your yeah. money. Any coffee company that has, okay. that is at no, least I'm... like moderately all right, sign me up. I'm I'm a, I'm a complete sellout. You know, Duncan, you guys can fight over. Yeah. I don't care who gives me a sponsorship as long as yeah. someone does. Uh, you know, so both of you guys can fight it out. I would personally prefer Duncan because I haven't had Death Deathwish or anything. But you know what? I'm okay for me with either way. Like I like both. Yep. Exactly. I will. Even if you still lived where I thought you lived, I would bring you a bag. Yeah. Um. So the um, another one that I have, another so we get back on track here, um, is I don't really have this one anymore, but I think it's worth noting because I know a lot of people struggle with it. Because honestly, the media has not helped. I'll just say that the uh, the internet has not helped either. Um, and that is, you know, the classic porn addiction, right? You get, you, you know, you're 15, you're, you don't know what it is and you kind of get stuck on it and you, you want to get out of it and you know, you should, but you really can't because it's like, okay, well, you know, that's, it's not something I need to explain here. It's just something that I think every, I don't know about middle school, but maybe high school primarily, 
has you know not not everyone has gone through it because some people kind of avoid it like the plague which good on you um but you know someone like me who like was curious on what it was kind of got stuck on it and then for a while i was on that kind of train and but now it's broken off primarily and uh, which i pr appreciate because now i've gotten a lot more stuff done procrastination has gone way down ever since then and also watching that kind of stuff doesn't help your brain Men mentally doesn't help your brain and so you know it's one of those bad habits that if you currently have it now i can't really give you advice because the way i broke it is i just didn't have a phone for i think a year um and so i guess i guess if you don't have any media source then that would probably help but I, I don't know if you can do that so i don't know how to really help with that all i can say is it's probably a habit you should break as soon as possible just because it's not like i said it's not mentally good for you and you know all that kind of stuff so yeah. Just leave it there, I guess. Yeah. That's definitely one that people should break, especially if they do have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have I have All another right. one. Uh since I guess it would be my Go turn. For it. Uh one thing I don't do it as it's really fucking busy. What did you say? Be about fighting. <laughs> you wanna roll up the host? No, uh, you always right. Host is always right. Um, any, anyway, <laughs> uh, one I don't have it as much, but it definitely wasn't healthy when I did have it. Is that I would like my lip, my lips would dry out probably because I wasn't getting enough co uh, water. I was about to say enough coffee, but that's not that's the opposite of the problem. Uh, that's if you don't want to have dry lips, <laughs> feel free to buy Duncan's coffee in stores today. <laughs> No, I would, I, I guess, because I wasn't hydrated enough, but I would start, like, picking at my lips because they would dry, and then I'd pick pick at it, and then it would start bleeding, and it would it was just not a good habit to have, and I'm like, man, this is not good. It keeps bleeding. Big body. I'm going to get a busted lip one of these days. I'm just like, yeah, but I'll, I'll keep doing it. And luckily, I've broken it, um, mainly just because I drink a lot more water these days, um, which helps because then they don't dry out as fast. And when I feel that, yeah. that they're starting to dry out, then I'm like, oh, I just drink some water. So if you have that problem, which I don't think is a very common one, on like biting your nails, uh, that's my recommendation is just drink more water. So, yeah, I know what's funny, John? I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Before you even <laughs> went on your monologue, I was doing that. It's just something that, I mean, for me, they don't bleed. I don't do it mm -hmm. that much. Um, and also you get dry lips no matter what, if you, if you're in a cold climate that goes hot in the summer, then you're going to have chapped lips once autumn and winter starts rolling right. around, um, which is that time of year now. So if you're in a cold climate, I think Canada, you're cold all the time. I don't know how, how often you guys get chapped lips, but I know at least in the, the Eastern seaboard or whatever, mm -hmm. if, when it gets cold, it gets really cold. And when it gets hot, it gets moderately hot, but hot enough that you wouldn't have chapped lips right, right. now. So drinking water does help, but it doesn't prevent it in any means. So I've had it for a while, but I don't really pick at them that often. Mm -hmm. I really just do it when I'm, like, super bored. But even then, it's like, I mean, I would say it's not too bad of a habit for me just because I don't do it too often, and it's never inter it's not never interfering with anything. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, John, that yours is bleeding, so that's probably that's a problem. Right. But with mine, they never bleed because I don't pick at them that much, so. Yeah. Actually, you do this well i was gonna say used to but i still do this i tend to do it to the point that mine bleed as well and yeah it's not a good one because my lips always look fucked up afterwards so hmm. but i guess it's not just yeah. me i felt like that was something that was like not many people did at least not to the point where they it starts bleeding um, but I yeah. guess it, at least one other person does it, so I'm not alone. Yeah. Yeah, no, hey, it, it, I, I think that's very common, I think, actually. Yeah, if you didn't bring it up, I was going to bring it up, so I'm actually glad you brought it up, because I was like, well, shit, I relate to that. Because I don't even know why I do it, I just do it. Yeah, same with me, it's like, it's, it's just something I, I started doing one day, and it, it got worse and worse until I it would start bleeding whenever I did it. I'm like, maybe this is not a good idea if I keep my lip keeps bleeding like this. Yeah. And see, my lips are, like, always chaps because I don't like using chapstick. Mm -hmm. So, it's always bad for me, but I am trying to break it. 
By the way, now I'm a masochist. <laughs> well, you can prove it, Jeff. It's your turn again. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, another bad habit of mine is. Okay. So, anytime I go to the gas station, whenever I like pop my mom's car or just a car or something. I always like to take a smell of the gasoline, especially if it's like a of a jerry can. And I know it's a bad habit because the fumes from like, the fumes from that can fuck you up. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what it is about the small gasoline either, but I just like to smell it. Yeah, that's uh, that's one I, I think they actually talked about it on uh, Distractable in one episode. It's like one of those smells that you wouldn't describe it as pleasant, but some people like the smell of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think I that the reason I relate to it, not to that specific smell, but a smell that I don't know why I enjoy it. And I like you, like John just said, like no one would say it smells good. Like if you walked into a store and smelled that, you'd be like, what is that? Mm -hmm. You know? But it's the smell. It's this. Is, this is, sounds super specific, but you'll you might know what I mean. Is if you have a cardboard box uh -huh. that's been in the freezer for a while, oh, yeah. and you open the cardboard box and you smell it, mm -hmm. right? And I think honestly, to me, that kind of narrows it down to uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, maybe like childhood memories because I've, my dad used to work in a big fa uh big factory called Mains, which. I'm pretty sure they they uh, I don't know if they fully closed down, but either way, his location closed down uh, due to Corona. Um, but before that, like I used to go in, he he would have like a bring your son to work day or something, something like that, where I'd get to go to his uh, workplace. And we went into this massive freezer. Like I'm talking, like put three school gyms in terms of height, uh, like together, and that's how high the ceiling was. And then, in terms of length, think of like a think of like a normal football field. That's how big that stupid thing was. Either way, that in the entire smell aroma of that place was that mm. thing. It's like you're you open a cardboard box that's been in the freezer for a while. Like think of like a TV dinner or something. Like you've opened that you've opened that up and you, you just sniff the box and it just it doesn't smell good. I don't know what it is, but it's just encasing, I guess. Um, yeah. And that's I think that kind of narrows it down for me is that it's maybe childhood. Maybe that's where it's coming from. Right. Um, but I don't know. It's just it's weird, though. I'll tell you what. The closest thing. Yeah. Uh, you can go if you want. Oh, I can actually relate to that one as well. I don't know what it is about that for me, but yeah, it, it's a weird one. Yeah, the, the closest thing to that for me is like I don't necessarily relate to that one, but one that is like similar but different is um the smell of like a new book. Like, I don't know why, I guess because I read a lot of books as a young child, and I would get new books from the library or from whatever, I bought a new book. And, like, when you, you just, like, flip the pages and you just, like, take a whiff, it's like, I, again, it's like, if I had a candle that smelled like that, I, I might buy it. But it's not, like, my first choice. Like, it, it's not, like, roses or, or, like, peach or, like, one of those, like, pleasant fruity smells. It's just, like, it's, like, basically just the smell of paper. Really? No, right. honestly, honestly, I, I relate to that one fully because it's not just books, though. To me, it's just fresh mm -hmm. paper. Like it just came out of the printer, and I don't know what the printer's doing it doing to it in there, but I listen. It smells pretty. I have a book right here that I just got in Barnes and Nobles, actually. It's called Nixia. Um, I've actually read a book. Uh, I'm reading a book right now called uh, Do Dice Play God, and it's a really interesting book about how like chance and things kind of affect the world we live in today um that's why it's titled mm -hmm. that but it's new and it has that new smell i don't know if you guys walked into a barnes and nobles but it smells awesome like it smells mm -hmm. like if you're a nerd then it smells awesome if you don't like books at all then you probably think it smells terrible um but you know i think just smells in general i think everyone has a smell that's like not weird but not on the normal side mm -hmm. either. it's kind of like riding that line of both weird and normal um like like my box thing right like smelling a box that's been in the freezer like normal smelling cardboard smells weird and it doesn't smell like anything Right, but if if you put it in the freezer, the coldness of it makes it smell different or something. I don't know. Right. Um, yeah. and then John's books, right? Like it's I I John, do you have you have you ever gotten a test in school and they just pulled it out of the printer so it's like warm mm -hmm. and it smells right. like that? Like 
smell to me is pretty good. Like, again, if I had a candle of it, I wouldn't want it, per se. But it's just that kind of moment of, like, oh, this smells interesting. It smells <laughs> almost good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it smells bad good. I think that's bad a good, word yeah. that uh, I would use. Yeah. It's the best worst smell. <laughs> the best, yeah, exactly. right. <laughs> the best of the worst smells, yeah. I mean, and also, another thing with smell is whether you like this place or not, I don't care. But walking into a subway is one of the best smelling things, best best smell experiences that you'll ever have. I agree. Um, can't agree. Because whether you're smelling the bread or the cookies, whatever was just made, holy crap, it smells yeah. awesome in there. Yeah. Well, there's some there's sandwiches are hit or miss for me, but the actual smell, oh my goodness, I don't know. They're they're cooking up some cocaine in there or something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Know. Smell cocaine. Uh, Subway, if you'd like to sponsor us, I cannot, I can uh, confer, neither confirm nor deny that statement. If you'd like me to deny that statement, feel free to sponsor. <laughs> there you go. Uh, actually, I guess while we're on that topic, I don't know why. I really like the smell of money. Wow. No, that's, yeah, see, paper, yeah, fresh paper. paper. I was going to say, oh, you, you're one of those, like, Mr. Krabs sort of people. I see. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> Money. All yeah, right. I, mean, um, I think. Well, I've one last thing before I get into my last one is I think another smell that works for me is I mean, I guess it's along the lines of. No, I guess maybe not. I was gonna say the one of the smells that I like is any sort of like lemony smell, like and that's you might think that's kind of normal, but lemon people don't like lemons too mm -hmm. much because they're not only sour but also the smell is so sometimes pungent right. that it like hits your nose and burns your nose hairs off to me i've eaten or or oranges I've, I've eaten lemons before like literally just sat down and ate and, and ate a lemon right well so uh, what yeah no it, i listen i i don't like sour candy too much which sounds weird but i don't like sour candy just because based on the taste mm -hmm. but i'll sit down and eat a lemon like if i when i get a i usually get an unsweetened iced tea at restaurants right i'll usually ask for a lemon i'll put the lemon juice in and then once I'm done, I'll just eat the lemon. Just cause, you know, it's just, it's something I like. And you know, I if I had a lemon scented candle, if I'm have if I'm having people over, I wouldn't use it. Mm -hmm. If I'm having if I'm gonna, if I know I'm gonna be alone for a while, then I'll use it because I just like the smell personally. Uh, but I know a lot of people don't like the smell of lemons be just because they're so pungent. You know, um, they kind of knock your nostrils out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, on, on the topic of lemons, uh, sorry, I didn't interrupt you, but I, just because it made me think of it. we I have, like, a soap in my house. It's called it's Kitchen Lemon. It's, like, lemon-scented. And that's, like, probably the fav my favorite one out of the, like, packet we got from where we got the soap from. And I, I don't even know why. Like, it's, like, it's not the, like, super fruity smell like some of the other ones or whatever, but it's, I like the smell of it. Right, yeah. and you know, I think that, to me, this is going to be controversial as hell, but I think lemons are one of the best fruits, just personally. Like, right, right alongside bananas, right alongside oranges, like those kind of things, right? Just to me, because, honestly, this might be a personal thing, and I, I don't know if people in hotter places would agree or not, but on a hot summer day, tell me something more refreshing than ice-cold lemonade. Tell me something, you can't. Because you don't want, because coffee's fine, right. but you're not going to have hot coffee on a hot summer day, because then you're a masochist. That, that's yeah. when you're a masochist. Or, if you get iced coffee, like I, I always get iced coffee, but even then it's not, it's good, but it's not refreshing, right? Mm -hmm. Something about this ice cold lemonade, fresh from like a car at a fair or something, oh my goodness. Literally just the best. Then you have never had iced sweet tea down south. Yeah. I've had iced sweet tea, it's, sometimes it's too sweet. Well... That's where that's where that. your taste buds failed you. No, that's not that's not taste buds failing me. That's them putting so much sugar in it that I've exceeded my daily amount of sugar in that one cup. You may exceed your daily amount of sugar in that one cup, but I'll tell you what, that's some of the best damn tea you will ever have. That's my opinion too. Mm. I agree. The the thing about sweet tea and like same with black or not black tea, that is black tea. Same with uh, green tea. And uh, sweet tea, those just never appeal to me because it's like this, the green tea. There's something off about it. I've tried green tea, and it's just like I don't know. There's something wrong with it. And then sweet tea, if they put too much sugar in it, it's a problem. And if they have just regular sweet tea, like I've had cracker barrel sweet tea, it's fine. 
Um, but either way, it's like I don't I get sugar from from other things, so I don't need sugar in my drinks. You know what I mean? So That's why I drink water. That's why I drink. Uh, I have lemonade currently, but it's not—it's no sugar lemonade, and so it still has that lemony flavor, but it's not sugar, um, and that kind of thing. But le- anyway, to get off the topic of lemons, because John interrupted me, um, what the, my last bad habit that I want to point out, and I think a lot of people can relate to this one, is um, skipping meals and hoping that you're going to lose weight out of it, um, because giving meals can actually be worse than just having uh, too much food, actually. Because when you skip meals, your body, if it doesn't have anything to consume, I guess, it starts eating your, it starts eating you, essentially is what it's doing. And it actually makes it worse. And now, technically, over time, you would lose weight, but it's not a good way to do it because your body's eating itself, and it just, it's just really bad. And so back when I was, I want to say, I think this was probably, I want to say 11th grade, I think, in high school, which was about, about two or th- two to three years ago. I would um, start skipping. I skipped not only breakfast, but I would usually skip uh, lunch, and so I didn't have breakfast or lunch. I would just have I would just have dinner at the end of the day, maybe a snack somewhere in there too. And it got to a point where I'm just like, I need like more things in this because I was starting to gain weight. I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. And so I looked it up, and lo and behold, the media has been lying to you, saying that you know these diet things that are mostly can be trusted. There's some diets that are fine. But like the keto diet, for example, I just found out that's almost poisonous to your body to do that, and like all this kind of stuff. And it's like, wow, I if I didn't know this, I could this I could have been in trouble, you know. And so yeah. I can't speak for keto because I've never done that, but I've I've just read a bunch of articles that say that it's poisonous. I haven't looked into it too much, but what I can say is what I experienced, and that what I've experienced is skipping meals. Usually it was breakfast. There's times where I'd have lunch, but usually it'd, bre- it'd be breakfast. Now I'm on the train where I eat breakfast pretty much every day. Um, and it's been a lot better. I've been in a lot better place. I've been in a better place mentally because of it, because your body's getting more things to give you energy and that kind of thing. Speaking of energy, I've had a lot more energy to do things. You know, like if I was on the train I was two years ago, I would not have started a YouTube channel. I would not have been doing a podcast. I would not have been doing a game project. I would not have been doing any of these things, right? And so... You know, I just think it, just the motivation, I guess, uh, to speak is probably what uh, kept me going from that. But it's only because I started having uh, three meals a day. Now, of course, there's snacks somewhere in there because that people qualify that as overeating. But I think everyone has a snack, even the people that go to the gym and stuff. Because if you think about people that go to the gym, they're not having salads every day for like two years. They're having pizza. They're having burgers. They're having everything else everyone else has. Hey. It's just the way they hey. do things uh is you know different for them but like uh skipping meals is not the answer i can tell you that with first-hand experience it is not the answer you will actually gain weight because of it and you'll be in a worse place mentally so yeah. i'll leave it there yeah no i actually can relate to this one because uh, uh a few years ago i used to be in a bad place mentally and i would skip meals i actually still do skip meals i'm trying to get better about that but yeah, it's not a good habit. If anything, it's probably one of the worst ones we've talked about today. Oh, yeah. That and, yeah, that and I think um, pulling out your hair is not that good, and I think procrastination. I think those are the three biggest. Oh, biting nails, I think, is also. Yeah. I think those are the four biggest ones we've talked about today. Like the, the smell one, I think, is just personalized, so I guess you could call that common, but it's personalized in terms of smell. Like, not everyone's going to smell a frozen box and be like, hmm, it smells great. Yeah. So yeah, but I think John John needs to go one the last time because I I shouldn't get a bonus one. Right. Um. Yeah, I do have one last one. Is one that I it's kind of not good. Is I bite the inside of my cheek a lot. Uh, when I'm like mm, that just sounds painful. Yeah, that that might be a bit <laughs> uh masochistic. I don't know, but it, <laughs> it's like I, think you are. I, I get into it. It's just like. I, I guess I do it mainly when I'm, like, stressed or, um, not so much when I'm bored, but mainly just when I'm stressed or anxious. Uh, I start biting and I'm like, I should probably stop doing this because this kind of hurts. And then I just keep doing it. And I'm, I probably could mess up the inside of my cheek if I did it too much. So it's, it's probably not a healthy one, for sure. Yeah. I kind of do something similar, actually. I, uh, you know, like that... It's... Skin on the inside of your mm-hmm. lip. 
I kind of take my front teeth and I bite on that gently, especially like when I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. I think it's just no, like a not, I, not a tick, but it's like a nervous thing that people right. do, right? That's I mean, yeah. I feel like that's pretty common for people. I think fiddling with your thumbs, not like not like what they show in cartoons, but like fiddling with your thumbs or fiddling with your fingers and stuff like that. I think that's also a stress kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I do, but it's that's that it's not like an unhealthy habit, you know. It's just like you're messing around with your hands, moving them around. Yeah. All right, so I think we can wrap this up now. Uh, I'm going to calculate points if you guys have anything to plug or anything that would be a thought. No, we have actually no well, nothing to plug. We don't do anything out of this podcast. You're the host is responsible for that at the end. But what I can say is Dunkin' Donuts, feel free to sponsor us. If you guys want some explosive <laughs> coffee in your mouths, please go to Dunkin' Donuts or you can go to their website and or if you want to go to in-store locations, they have them all over the, uh, all over the marsh, I guess you can say. There's Walmart, Target, all these stuff. You can find them anywhere. Uh, and we will gladly take your money to promote yeah. your product. Fair enough. John. What do you think's taking him so long? I guess we... Calculating points. We must have a lot of points between the two of us. It was close. I will say that. Oh. oh. All right. Points are calculated. Who would like to hear their points first? John can go. I guess I'm getting my points first. So I could be crushed <laughs> when you uh, make Ethan the winner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, John, you had a really good conversation. You had actually a few similar ones to me that I could relate to, which was pretty cool. And overall, you did pretty well and i think you may have won you have 19 okay now ethan very good conversation as well actually both of you it was a really good conversation the entire time which was pretty good because we had a pretty good flow then uh along with that you also brought up a few similar ones that i have and it worked out pretty well which awards you, and this was pretty close, with 20 points. Fuck you, John. <laughs> yeah, all right. How many, well, how many think... points did you minus, huh? I actually didn't minus any this time, believe mm -hmm. it or not. That's a, that might be a like precedent. Uh, we always take away points from somebody. <laughs> Just, no, well, I can do it now. No, no, no. I'm not uh, saying specifically you. I mean, I take away points. You take away points. You know, it just happens. Yeah, I, just like, hey, John. I, I love, I love Noah's backtrack. He's like, well, John, your wish has been granted. You now have negative twenty points. Congratulations, John. I am your genie. You want to lose points? I'll fucking no, take them. No, no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, you know, I'll save it for next time to lose points. I'll be like the bank taking in your house while I'll I take knew it. <laughs> All right, then. All right. And with that, guys. Hey, I get my winner speech. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Well, we've been like doing winner speeches, but okay. right. We've been doing them since the beginning. What are you talking about? You had no, yours I... last time. Yeah. Anyway, my winner speech. Uh, You know, the thing about bad habits is everyone has one. Like, if you say you don't have any, you're lying to everyone and yourself. Um, but whether it's, like, acknowledge, because you have to acknowledge these things, right? You have to, if you're not acknowledging it, then, like I said, you're lying to yourself. And, you know, if you can acknowledge them, you're already a step in the right direction. Because you're acknowledging it, and you're going to, at that point, you can maybe try and do some things to stop it and prevent it. Because um, once you break, hopefully you're good for life, hopefully. Like, you know, like, like I said, some of the habits that I've had in the past, like I said, the whole skipping meals, I've never done that since. And so it's just been kind of like, you know, kind of just been easier for me because ever since I've acknowledged them, it's been a lot better. So I think if you have any bad habits, um, I would definitely tell if it's serious, I would definitely tell your doctor and see if they have any recommendations. Um, but I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you any medical advice. But what I can tell you is that it's uh, if it's a bad habit, you should probably try and find at least somewhere to break it. And please acknowledge that you have them, because then, like I said, you're a step in the right direction. Yep. And John, would you like to give a loser speech? No, I'm good. 
be sure. MMB. John's loser speech is, hey, Dunkin' Donuts, you can find them at any store near you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to sponsor us, Dunkin' Donuts. Make your mind melt. <laughs> make me feel better. If you want the coffee, they'll make... Yeah. If you want the coffee, they'll make your mind melt and ex- have your head explode like a firework. Dunkin' sure. Donuts. If you want my personal recommendation of coffee, I choose Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> you may wonder why, but I can tell you it's a good reason. I live an average life. But when I don't live an average life, I live Duncan. America, because America runs on Duncan. That's their slogan, yeah, right? Yeah, slogan. Yep. I was about to say Lib Moss. I'm like, that's not right. All right. And with that, you can find Ethan on YouTube at FlabsXC Gaming. You can find John on Twitch at Jeevens Feevens. And he also has a YouTube channel, which I believe is Jeevens Feevens as well, yes, right? Yes, sir, Rooney. It is, but you need to work on your branding because Twitch doesn't have a space where I'm pretty sure YouTube does, and so you should probably, probably fix that. Yeah. But it does, uh, apparently on YouTube it does matter. If I put in a space, it's like, okay, oh, that's a completely different space, person. Like, who is that person? Yeah, com- this, right. you don't even exist at that point. The, the problem is, like, Twitch just doesn't allow you to have spaces. <laughs> you still have the choice. Right. Yeah. Well, I just, I just <laughs> think you should, you should put a no space on your YouTube too, or yeah. something, because your name will yeah. still be there. You still have the name rights and stuff right. like that. If we're being honest, Twitch has a lot of problems they need to figure out. Will they well, ever figure it out? That's They'll the just question. continue to make more and more bad time. decisions until everybody leaves. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that could be a whole another topic for another day. And we're not giving, we're not giving Twitch promotion. We're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. They don't deserve attention. Alright, Twitch. Fuck you. I'll never stream on there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't say riot yeah. against them. I just said we're not doing anything with them. All right, fair enough. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, listening. We hope we provoked a conversation and made you laugh along the way. Hope you guys see you guys in the next episode.